Welcome back guys to another one. After the excellent surprise from Silentium PC with their Fera 5 CPU cooler, which was a 120mm single tower heatsink, today let's have a look at the Fortis 5 ARGB which is 140mm. So let's play with it. As the name implies, this is the eye candy variant with an interesting twist, as in the top plate of the heatsink will light up alongside the fan. They sell the standard non-RGB version and like we saw with the Fera 5, a dual fan option as well. The MSRP for the UK at least for the ARGB variant is 60 quid, while the standard 45 is 50 quid and the dual fan option is 55 quid. All of these are available on Scanco UK as well and hopefully they will be soon available worldwide. The overall theme and packaging design is nearly identical to the previously seen Fera 5 with plenty of detailed specs and branding. There is some plastic foam at the bottom of the box, while the heatsink is secured between the accessory and the fan box. Accessory wise, here is a complete overview. Now this is the 140mm Fluctus ARGB PWM fan that will spin between 300 and 1400 RPM and it's rated up to 100,000 hours of continuous operation thanks to its fluid dynamic bearings, although there is no mention of the fan's airflow, static pressure and noise output numbers. All of the 9 semi-transparent blades have a serrated design profile to them. It takes power through a 4-pin PWM unsleeved plug while the 5V plug is for the ARGB function. Both plugs have a daisy connection type in order to connect them in sequence to another fan and the same for the heatsinks ARGB. The asymmetrical heatsink stands 159mm tall, 139 wide and 80mm in depth, this is without a fan, or 107mm with it on. It has 47 aluminium fins with plenty of spacing in between for better airflow. The top plate of the heatsink is really interesting since it lights up and also has these extra venting channels. Now the exhaust side of the heatsink has this really aggressive cutout and smack in the middle of it there is a channel for the top plate's ARGB cable to pass through. You just need one free 5V ARGB port on your motherboard because you will connect this to the free port on the fan. The Fortis 5 has two more plated heat pipes than the non-plated Fera 5 so this means even more cooling headroom plus they are more visually pleasant to look at. Finally the heat pipes make direct contact with the CPU and the machining is excellent. Before the next chapter, here is the finalized look with the fan attached. Installation should be flawless since it's almost identical to the one we saw on the Fera 5. Thus the first step is to retain the motherboard backplate after you remove the front socket plastic brackets. Install the custom double threaded sleeve screws into the backplate. Then the universal metal plate goes in while making sure it faces the right way up and then just bolt it down. Apply the thermal paste and then secure the Fortis 5 heatsink. Next step is to install the custom rubber grommets on both sides of the fan's frame. Now it's a good time to connect all of the plugs before you attach the fan to the heatsink. Besides the fan's header, plug the 5V RGB port from the heatsink to the one from the fan and then into the motherboard. Even on this ITX board with 49.5mm tall RAM kits, the Fortis 5 fits to the absolute limit without touching. The VRM and GPU sides are all safe and the Fortis 5 feels right at home even in this micro ATX case. Finally here is the ARGB in action. Both the fan and the heatsink plate have a great color diffusion and both are fully compatible with all of the lighting software from all of the main motherboard vendors. As you can see even through a perforated panel the Fortis 5 looks really cool. Since I've upgraded my CPU and cleared most of my old inventory I have decided to start fresh and test the Fortis 5 in 3 different scenarios stock settings for the Ryzen 5 CPU, then at 4 GHz for all cores for 1.05 V as the main baseline to remove any inconsistencies in stock form where the BIOS will pump extra voltage for shorter periods, and finally an overclock scenario of 4.7 GHz for 1.275 V. Room temperature was recorded at around 19 degrees Celsius. The first series of tests come from Cinebench R23 which will put a serious load on the CPU while it renders a specific frame. The 5600X despite its official 65W TDP rating, we all know since the release of the 3000 Ryzen series from AMD that they will boost aggressively for a short period of time. Thus this is a hot CPU even in stock form. The fact that the Fortis 5 ARGB can tame the CPU in an overclock scenario as well where it dumps so much heat while running barely at 50-60% RPM as in extremely quiet, it's highly impressive. 
even in the 2 minute long ADA stress test, as you can see the Fortis 5 still manages to keep everything under control, once again while being quiet. Then if a CPU cooler manages to survive the torture tests, then a benchmark run in a gaming scenario should be a walk in the park. Games are not that stressful as a synthetic torture test, but are a great indicator of real life usage. Assassin's Creed Valhalla averages around 40-50% to total CPU usage in all scenarios and thus the Fortis 5 CPU cooler has no problems whatsoever. The noise output test is an important challenge for any CPU cooler since if you can't live with the noise then this negates any of the other advantages. I'm happy to report that the Fortis 5 even above 80% RPM is extremely quiet. We are talking about Noctua B quiet level performance here. I even added plus 10 on the noise gain in Premiere Pro to actually hear something on the recording and all of the weird extra noises you hear are coming from outside the building. Well, there you have it guys. Once again, Silentium PC delivers an impressive air cooler product with great value for money. The key selling point here is the remarkable low noise output even in higher RPM points. Cooling wise it had no trouble taming an overclocked 4.7 GHz Ryzen 5 5600X CPU for 1.275V. Then the ARGB eye candy is implemented in a unique way and I really like its 159mm tall footprint because you can install it in so many cases, even a micro ATX case like my Silverstone Tower one. Not only that, the Fortis 5 is fully ITX friendly with zero clearance issues in any direction, at least AM4 boards. Kinda hard to fault it really, besides its low availability outside of Europe. Well, once again, thank you for watching guys, and see you in the next one. Alex out.